what do you actually do when, when the anger is actually arising at that moment and you're with the person? So what you're talking here is what you go into a cocoon and then you you know you allow the anger to come out. How do you deal with it when it's actually there and the person is present and you would like to deal, deal with you know with that person at the moment? Brian, I'm gonna get angry at Brian. Huh? <laughs> you're right, Matt. So, so Brian just said something to me. Say something nasty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't think of anything. Yeah, yeah. So he's just said something nasty to me, and I just say, look, Brian, look, that comment just made me so angry, and I'm just going to have to leave this conversation with you and go and deal with that. Yes. Now, he may have a response to that as well. He might even get more angry with me doing that, but that's okay. I need to own the fact that I'm angry with him. Right? I need to own the fact that I felt this emotion. And when I own the fact and I say to him, Dad, how did you feel with me? I say that. How would you feel? <laughs> would that be better than me going, Fuck you, Brian! Blah, 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 blah. Much better. Yeah. Much better. Okay. So can you see how if I own it, that's going to, he's going to feel much better about that. I'm owning this anger. And if I go away and deal with that, I can then work out what it was. Now, it might even be that Brian said some really nasty things to me just then. And I could come back and say, you know, Brian, now I've dealt with all those nasty things you said to me. I don't feel angry with you anymore. But do you realise that they were pretty nasty, what you said to me? You know, so I can actually have that dialogue with him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thanks, Brian. <laughs>